Doctor Who, Planet of the Spiders, Part 2. Sella, the room goes quiet. The cabal jump to their feet, and one of them, Kevlar, starts to run for the door. The spider zaps him, a bolt of energy. Loop, Dupton. Go, I command you, go. The giant speaks with, by the speaks with a female pitched voice. By that, I have come to give you the power you seek. Limpton power? Spider, turn around. Turn around, I say. Limpton obeys. The spider prepares itself and leaps onto his back and vanishes into him. Limpton turns around, smiling. Unit laboratory. Brigadier, well, what did you, what did the man die of? Did the crystal kill him? Don't know. Didn't, don't see how it could have done. Brigadier, well, he was looking at it when he died. Benton enters. Benton, the police have gone, sir. Inspector said he'll give you a ring later. Brigadier, right. Thank you, Benton. Doctor, wait a minute. Now there's a chance. It's a chance, Brigadier. Chance of what? Brigadier, well, Professor Clegg was attached to this RS machine when he died. Perhaps it recorded his faults. Doctor rewinds the tape. Switches on the monitor. Image is an arm for Freud's worst nightmare. Brigadier Spiders? Sallow Kibner. Dev River. What happened? The spider, where is it? Lim- Lumpton. Now go to your rooms, but remember, not a word. This living to living soul. Go on. Three men leave. Barnes. Lumpton. Are you feeling all right? Lumpton. Of course I am. Never felt better. Unit laboratory. Doctor. Well, there's only one thing to do, do now. Benton. What's that then? What, well, what's that, Doctor? Doctor. I must look into the crystal myself. Brigadier, really, isn't it rather dangerous? I mean, look what happened last time. Doctor, I'm bearing in mind, Brigadier. Benton, uh, Doctor? Doctor, hmm. Benton, well, wouldn't it be best for me to have a go first? I mean, I'm expendable and you're not. Doctor, well, I'm already responsible for the death of one man, Sergeant. Thanks, just the same. Spiritual treat. Sarah's halfway out the window. Sarah, Sutto, look, you sure you won't, you won't come to? Mike Sutto, I went, I guess I was on to them. So it's much better you go by yourself. Let the dog and Brig know what's going on. Sarah Sutto, okay. Hey Mike Sutto. Mike Sutto, what? Sarah Sutto, I don't know what's going what is going on, Mike Sutto. Just tell them everything you saw. Off you go. Sarah Sutto, well, what are you going to do? Mike Sutto, I'm going to try and get into the... Into the abbot. Tell him all, all about it. Sarah Sutto, be, be, do be careful. Sarah leaves and Mike closes the window and draws the curtains. Limpton. Oh, see, this is only the first stage. Do you see? Barnes, oh, see. I still don't understand what happened. Mike leaves. Limpton. It's only just beginning to understand myself. Barnes and that spider. What was it? One of the Tibetan demons? Cheryl G warned us about? Limpton. Well, that's what he would say, but he's ro- he'd be wrong. Barnes, where did it go? Linton, I didn't. It's still here. Barnes, still here, there? Do you mean you can still feel it on your back? Linton, my minds are joined together. If I concentrate, you can hear it sp- it's speaking to me. Spider, I see this man is stupid. Send him away. Linton, very well. Barnes, wasn't it? Was it? it was it speaking to you then? Linton, it was. Barnes, what did it say? Linton, it said you looked tired and you should be in bed. Barnes, I'd never be able to s- sleep a wink. You think I came here to get peace of mind? Linton, look, I'll see you in the morning. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Barnes leaves. Linton, what is it? Spider, go oh, see this crystal. I can't feel it. Concentrate, Linton, concentrate. Linton, what crystal? Spider, oh, see, it's why I have come. To find the crystal and get it back. It'll give us power. A power we both seek. Concentrate. Linton, and I can see a man staring into the blue light. I like the crystal. Crew crystal. Unit laboratory. It is the doctor who appears to be in a trance. The crystal is a clamp on the table in front of him. Really, doctor, doctor, good grief. Sergeant Renton. Ben and O.C. Yes, sir. Ben and enters with a cup of t- on the tray. Oh, there you are. Looks as if we have an emergency on our hands. Can't get him... 
come round dance to the idea. Thought so all along. The biggie picks up a phone. Can you give it to me the MO quickly? Oh that is that is that oh, is that you, Sullivan? Get over to the lab straight away. Then and puts a cup down in front of the doctor. So they're absolutely beautiful. William, what's that? Doctor? Really? Oh, the smell of that coffee. Thank you, Sergeant. Really, I forget it, Sullivan. Doctor, you know, why said that? Next to the number Mrs. Matt, so many peeps. You make the finest cup of coffee in the world. Then and thank you very much, Doctor. Actually, the secret of it is. Is to get the water? Really? Yeah, look, never mind the damn coffee. What about spiders? Don't, don't the spiders? Really, the ones in the crystal? Don't, oh, yes, you know, Brigadier. There's a young man, there's an old helmet, who lived halfway up a mountain, who lived just behind the house. But my, so my five hours of my life, the old man. Really, what are you talking about? But doctor, it was, it was him I first learned how to look into my mind. Really? A crystal? Doctor? No, no, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Doctor. Really. When I looked into that crystal, all I could see was the face of an old teacher. Gradual trick, Mike is going to go up. The staircase when Tommy takes his arm and pulls it back. Tommy, you go to bed, Yates. Mate, but I must see Comparo. Tommy, Comparo, Tommy's friend. He is like to be alone. Now go to bed. Mate, but Tom. Tommy, a fetch child of G. Oh, I'll hit you. Mate, oh, no, no, don't. Don't do that. I won't go up. Tommy, good. Tommy, don't like to hit you. Oh, that's pretty. Tommy holds, takes hold of the silver pen that Mike is wearing. Mate, here you are, yours, Tommy. For Tommy? Oh, that's pretty. Go to bed, mister. Go to bed. Tommy leaves gazing at the shiny new prize before Mike can go up the stairs. Limpton, O.C. What excellent advice, Limpton enters. Limpton, time for good little boys to go to bed. Then agree, Mike. Oh, yes. Yes. Limpton, good night, Mike. Good night. Mike walks off and Limpton watches him. Unit laboratory. The doctor is examining a crystal again, this time using some gizmos. Doctor, of course, I'm listening, Sarah. Go on, what happened next? Sarah, well, then we climbed in the window that you see, went straight down to the cellar. Doctor, mm hmm. Sarah, oh, no, not straight down. Because of Tommy. Oh, he's not really he's not really mixed up in this. At least I suppose he isn't. Doctor, oh, that's fascinating. So, hmm. The crystal Latisse is equally balanced from right to left. It's remarkable. So, you see, you're not listening to a word. Doctor, yes, of course I am. Went down in the cellar to see if Tommy was still there, right? Sarah, half right. Oh, please do not try to pay your attention, Doctor. Doctor, probably. And give us to the laser. Well, go on, I'm listening. Sarah, right. So there they all were in the cellar, chanting away in the the old. And all of a sudden, his giant beard, his bite appeared, and jumped on into his back. Thought it's a current fault. So, oh, Doctor, really? Doctor, a scientific pun. What did you say? So, I said, really, it's important. You're so interested in that wretched. Thought, no, 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 before that. You said, what did you say before that? Did you say spider? So, that's right. Doctor, now listen to me, Sarah, it's very important. Tell me the old story, right from the beginning. Sarah, oh. Unit car park. A unit, a unit soldier is doing something to Doctor space car. He notices someone there. Soldier. Excuse me, sir, can I help you? Limpton. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, where's the doctor? Soldier. The medical officer? Well, he's waiting. This, well, this time of day he'll be... Do- Limpton, no, no, the other doctor. Soldier, oh, yes, of course, in his lab. As you think you'd go, it's through that door over there. Stimpton, thanks very much. Soldier, hang on about, sir. May I see a pass? Stimpton, pass? Soldier, didn't they give you one of at the main gate, sir? Stimpton, oh, yes, of course. How stupid of me. Stimpton aims his fingers at the soldier. The blue energy zaps him. Unit's laboratory. Doctor, you see, are the seeing the spiders? But he died, so there must be some connection. Sarah, where did the crystal come from, anyway? Dad, oh, I brought it back from some time ago, from a planet called Meldabus. Free, Sarah. I never heard of it. Dad, oh, you wouldn't have done. It's also called the blue planet, because the moonlight is blue, you see. Sarah, oh, and what you did just happen to stumble across the planet, 
find the crystal sentinel light. Doctor, no, I went there deliberately to fetch it. But it's a strange, strange property to red about this crystal. In fact, the mind. Doc, is there the mind? You mean it could drive someone mad? But no, just the opposite, usually. It clears the mind and amplifies its power. Sarah, but it could be used for evil purposes. Doctor, oh yes, of course. A mind operating it was motivated by be evil. Sarah, so if the giant spiders of Metropolis 3 wanted the crystal back, Doctor, but there aren't any giant spiders on Metropolis 3. At least there wasn't any when I was there. Unit HQ, Benton, excuse me, sir. Lempton, yes? Benton, you have a pass, of course. Lempton, oh, yes, of course. Lempton walks around the corner. Benton, wait, wait. Get sacked for his diligence. Unit in the laboratory, doctor, wait a minute. There could be a time, there could be a time difference. Sir, come again? Oh, I get it. You mean the spiders come from an earlier beer than our visit? And someone is moving outside the frosty grass. Windows for the lab. Doctor, oh, or the other later one. Sarah, well, what, what if you're wrong? Don't know, just wait a minute. Give me a chance to work this thing out. Outside of the unit laboratory. Lenton, it's in there. Blue crystal, it must be the one. By the, of course it is. You forgot I can see through your eyes. Now concentrate, concentrate. Unit laboratory, Sarah. You know this is balmy. Now here I am, calmly discussing fabulous planets, the blue moon, giant spiders, magic crystals, as if you're talking and if you're talking to about pussycats, fish and chips, and Liverpool docks. But uh, well, it just is real, Sarah. Oh, I know. That's what uh, what gets me. Crystal just vanishes. Sarah, Doctor, giant HQ, giant unit HQ. Crystal reported to Upson's hand. Walks off of it only to meet up with covering Benton. Ben, here. What are you doing? Benton punches Benton's stomach leaves. The doctor and Sarah run up. But what's happened, son? Anyone at some you attack you? Ben, yes, and you've got the crystal of yours, doctor. Come on, unit car park. Linton sees a brigadier walking over from a row of the land rovers. Benton, sir, stop him. The brigadier draws his server revolver. Brigadier, put your hands in the air. Lenton runs, Brigadier fires and misses. Three times, Lenton gets into the rumour bill and drives off, so Brigadier empties his revolver at him. Doctor, no, no, Brigadier, you'll damage my car. Lenton starts up Bessie and drives her arm over to them. Lenton, here you are, Doctor. Doctor, well done, Sergeant. Take me to the airstrip. It's putting from the air. Airstrip, Doctor, get after him, Lenton, screw it, do it. I'll come to you by RT. But yeah, over, move over, Brenton. Ben, okay, sir. Doctor runs over to a Drive over. 6AXVK puts on a helmet and gets in. Brigadier drives Bessie away in pursuit of Limpton, rolling into lanes around Melbury. Drive Doctor, but hello, Brigadier. Look, this is seen working. Can you hear me? Over, Bessie. Really loud and clear, Doctor. Have you had a had any had a sight of him? Over. Drive up to Doctor. Yes, he's getting away from you. Take the next right foot. Try and cut him off. Out. It works. But Bessie's right on the web until down now. Vimpton spots Bessie, both Bessie and the drive copter overhead, and puts his hook down. Road. The policeman is parked up in a panda car. Policeman, Panda, free to control. I'm at a junction of Mildred Lane, you have Alden Road. Nothing to pull over. Control, OC, we're received. Panda free. Message timed at 2 15 out. The chase boys is past him. Policeman, Panda free to control. Just put in a silver hypercraft, retraced by an old crock. Yeah, 19 hours, 30 miles an hour. And, it, and, it, and there's a tiny helicopter after them both. I'm, I'm still over. Control, I'll see. Thank you, Panda Free. Signal if you need assistance. Falls. What did you say? Please turn heads off in a hot pursuit. Screech into a halt. Just. Just. Just at past a junction that Doctor vehicles have taken and reversing up to follow. Drag up to Doctor. He's taken off to the right, big dear. I say again, he's taken off to the right. Please, car follows. Airfield. Limpton. 
a deserted a home mobile. A doctor lands a dryer got to Bessie drives up. Try to look. Can't go far away, Brigadier. Must spread out and search. Limpton's watching the long grass. The policeman walks over to the group. Policeman, now wait a moment. I have one of a few peculiarities. You must touch ninety f- back there. Brigadier, not now, Constable. Look, Doctor. By the we must escape in the flying machine. Limpton, I don't know how to fly it. By the the principle seems simple. I will guide your hands. Come. Brigadier, I think the answer is this. Then it gets into the dryer copter. Sarah, Doctor, the dryer copter takes off. Sarah, he's got away. Doctor, no, no, he hasn't. Doctor gets in his space car. Sarah, hey, you're not going without me. Doctor, right, fasten his seatbelt. Brigadier, but Doctor, you never catch him. He's airborne. Doctor, stand back. Well back, Brigadier. Doctor pulls down the spy car, boys. Powers are up. And sets off the runway. Doctor, Sarah, 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 Doctor, we're flying? Doctor, of course we're flying. Benton, come on. Dr. Bailey, come on, Benton. Policeman gives up and goes back to his car. Policeman, hand a free con- to control. You ever leave this, Sergeant? But I own, I've nothing to report. Over. I come in. I don't feel very well. Over. Home of Home of Oval. Doctor, now keep your eyes peeled for the helicopter. Dry plane. Sarah, there he is. Doctor, let right, hang on. They fly power to the Goro. Lyndon can't believe his eyes, Sarah. Well, now you've caught up with him. What are you going to do? Doctor, nothing. He can't last much longer. He must be almost out of fuel. Dry got to spider. We must return to the ground. It's very liquid, liquid, liquid to burn, liquid to burn. Lyndon, you mean? we got no fuel? Spider, we had enough. Face car. Doctor, right, here we go. Coming to land, Limpton has already landed in the field. Ran down to nearby River Steven. Doctor lands and he and Sarah run off. Morning. Limpton sivers down to where the old barge is popped up on the riverbank and goes and sees a man mooring a small motor boat. Then a large, tiny motor hovercraft rushes up up at the bank. The man calls out to it to its pilot. Man, fantastic, Mr. Hopkins. Paid enough money? I buy twenty of them. Hawkins, look out. Lyndon pushes the man to the river, tries to launch his boat. Hawkins, hey! Hawkins gets zapped. Dr. Sarah arrives to see the boat out of the river. His owner trying to back, climb back on the board. They go to the hovercraft. Lyndon finally gets the motor boat started. Man, come back! The doctor gives chase, although it isn't quite as removable and has to move the shore to turn one point. Limpton cries on down the river, and Doctor makes for the opposite bank. Boat. Limpton and we lost him. Doctor is cutting across a large oxbow by land and flies straight over a tramp, just lay, lay down for sleep. He rejoins the river, and the little boats wake. Limpton, who catch us. Soldier, I see. I'll get help from Metabellis. Concentrate, concentrate. Have a girl comes alongside the Doctor, jumps into the boat, but Limpton has vanished.